A lot of people think that to work with Vitalino you need to know how to solder, how to code, but as we'll see today, it can be much simpler than that. This is a cool party trick that only requires a Vitalino EMG sensor, a battery, an LED, some resistors and a few wires. Let's start by tapping into the sensor pins. Connect a red wire to the VCC and the black to the ground. These will be our power lines. You'll see that the plastic housing is too wide for all the wires to be placed side by side. So take off the housing on one of them and save it. It will come in handy later. The previous step gave us enough room to have one wire per pin on the sensor. So all of them should be easily accessed. To create the midpoint voltage for the sensor, connect two resistors of equal value to the VSS wire. We are using 10K resistors. Now connect one of the resistors to the VCC wire and another one to the ground wire. You should also add extension wires because they'll be needed later. Now let's take care of the LED. First connect the resistor to the output wire on the sensor. In this case we are using 220 ohm resistors. Now you can use the plastic housing you saved from before to make contact between the other leg of the resistor and the anode on the LED. Connect the cathode of the LED with the VCC wire on the sensor. You'll see that we also added another wire to simplify the connection with the battery. We're almost done, so you just need to power everything up, connect the VCC and ground wires to the battery. Hook up the electrodes to one of your muscles. Note that the middle cable, or the black lead in this case, is placed over a bony area. And that's it, so now whenever you activate your muscle, your LEDs should start flickering and no solder or microcontrollers are needed.